Uh, this is on Coach Rod. My last video I just did, uh, somebody commented on my video and said, long distance relationship can be risky. But who can uh, say your, your mate, your soulmate could be in another state? Now, personally, like I said, I don't recommend it. But if you are going to do uh, long distance relate, um, a relationship, you could meet your soulmate in another state. I have known some people who did it and, and it worked out for them. Um, but again, if you're going to do that, I want to show y'all some red flags what to look out for. When you meet somebody long distance, another state, another country, whatever, and you don't really know them, and as soon as you meet them, they already talking about they need money. Um, they want you to help them out financially. They're in financial trouble. They can go both ways, male or female. You got men using women for money, long distance. You got women doing the same thing, using men. So, fellas and ladies, watch out. You know, if you just met that person and they want you to send them money and they haven't got a chance of getting to know you, they're not even trying to get to know you, but they're always talking about what they need. And then when you tell them, you know, I don't have it or I can't do it, they insist that you do that you help them. They don't take no for an answer and just stop and then start talking to get to know you. But they focus on just money and how much they need it. You tell them I can't do it and they keep on pressuring you. That's a red flag right there. Um, another red flag you want to look up, you want to look out for if they're not being true to their word. If they're telling you that they love you, they want to be with you, and they're not trying to make a way. Now, this for the ladies. I feel like as a man, if the head, he the leader. If y'all live in another state, he would do all he can do to make a way that y'all would see each other. That eventually one of y'all will relocate. You know, even if, 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 it's, if it's him or you, whatever, he would make a way. Ladies, be careful. If he's straining you alone, if he's promising you, I'm going to come and see you next month. I got my vacation. Then next month come, he don't come and see you. Then he keep promising you, I'm going to come and see you next month. Don't happen. And then, let's say he finally come and see you. You know, y'all meet up. Y'all have sex. He go back to his state. Four, four months, six months later, he come back, y'all have sex. And this been going on regularly for at least over two years. And he been promised you marriage. He been promised you that he want to be with you. He's going to make you his wife. But you feel like he's stringing you along. But every time y'all meet up, y'all got to have sex. And y'all have sex and he go back to his state. Chances are you are being used for sex. Um, if you know you want marriage out there, now if you good with just having sex every six months with a man, that between you and God, that's you. But if you want marriage out the relationship, I will not sleep with a man long distance or even close distance anyways before he married me, put a ring on my finger and walk me down the aisle and make me his wife. So I would, I would recommend if you're doing long distance or local dating, and uh, local relationship don't have sex before you get married uh i want you to understand it because when you're doing this thing here long distance long as that man know that he come and get it when he get ready he's not going to make haste to marry you and chances are he got another woman back in his state uh you got to understand men the average man if he's not a true Christian man, if he's not a man of integrity, he's not going to go too long without sex. He may not have a girlfriend, but he may be having a friend with benefits or paying to play or something. Um, maybe he has somebody living in girlfriend with him. You don't know. Y'all in different states. He could be married. He could have a wife. You don't know. And the red fair to look out for if he's involved with a woman or, you know, if you have a wife, when you call, he don't answer the phone at a certain time. Maybe he only called during the day and he don't call at night. 
you know, just pay attention to the little red fast like that. He don't answer the phone. Every time you call him at night, he don't never answer. You text him at night, you don't return your text. But in the daytime, he's available. Little things like that. And the same thing with the guys. When Same thing with the guys. At one point, you know, I started talking to a woman out of the state. I live in Florida. She lived in Texas. And that was the same thing. You know, I noticed a pattern about her. She only texts and calls during the daytime. At nighttime, I call, no answer. I text, no respond back. All those are red flags. So if you're going to do a long distant relationship, just pay attention to these red flags because it is risky. I have um, coached a woman that reached out to me and said that she uprooted from her state and moved to another man's state and that man been cheating on her and everything, doing her wrong and now she's stuck in another state. Be careful. That's all I'm going to say. Be careful and follow the red flags. God bless. Brother Rod, Coach Rod signing out.